Hey Bearcats, this is Dr. Jim Kellum of the Biology Department. I hear that you are going on a big long adventure covering 48 states in 48 days. Well, I can't go on that trip, I'd love to. Uh, and so I'm just here on my front porch. It's kind of rainy outside, uh, but I am going to be teaching you a little bit about birds while you're on your trip. All right, so day one, you're headed to the good old state of West Virginia. You know, their state bird uh, is the Northern Cardinal. This is shared by six other states in the United States. A uh, bunch of people love the Cardinals. Cardinals are these bright red birds. They're here year-round. Uh, and um, actually the male is far brighter than the female. That's one of the ones, one of the things that I wanted to tell you about. Males look different than the female. It's something called sexual dimorphism. Uh, and the males are brighter in color. Uh, it, it helps them attract the female. The females are interested in uh, how healthy the male is and his bright plumage will tell the female about that. Uh, also, the female uh, needs to sit on her nest and be a little bit more camouflaged. So the female is brown, the male is red. Now another thing that, uh, you know, cardinals are really uh, common and I'm sure you've seen cardinals before and chances are you've probably seen cardinals uh, in pairs, male-female pairs. Uh, like I said, they're here year-round and you'll, you'll often see uh, one male um, sitting uh, at the top of a tree and a female is, is like foraging on the, on the ground below. A lot of people think that's real sweet and they've got this long, that, this very strong pair bond relationship but don't you be fooled, all right? Uh, when they form their nests about this time of year, up to 35% of nests have young that do not belong to the male of the pair. That is, the female has mated with more than one male, and the male doesn't know this, and so he has to take care of young that might not be his own. Uh, this is not unusual among birds, but I bet you didn't know that about those cardinals. You think they're all sweet, they adorn the Christmas cards and everything like that, and uh, guess what? We're just promoting a little bit of infidelity there. Uh, in the bird sense, anyway. Oh, one last thing about a cardinal. As a professional ornithologist, I sometimes catch cardinals uh, as part of, of research studies, and when I catch them in the net or in a trap, uh, they like to bite. You have you look at those that beak. That beak is like massive, and it's built to crush seeds. And when your finger gets in the way of that beak, oh boy, it is painful. And it takes like my other, you know, I got to use my other hand to pry that beak off. Uh, but all is well. If I'm a I'm a big person compared to that small little bird, and so I understand it gets angry. But uh, when I see a bird in my trap, I'm like, oh no, not a cardinal. That's pretty bad. All right, so that's a little bit about the Cardinal. Uh, good luck on your first leg of the trip. I'm gonna be back with another video, and I'm gonna be telling you about birds at your next location. Birds.